project manager, <laughs> QA person, I'm always like, where is the fault? Where's the worst things that could happen? What what bad could happen in the future? Like, bad, 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 bad. Yes. All the time. Looking for the bad stuff. I call myself the certified wet blanket. <laughs> mm. Sounds about right. <laughs> well, no wonder Dolly simply... loves your blanket so much. I get it now. See? <laughs> right. it's certified. I have simply learned never to make declarative statements when my wife is within arm's reach of her phone. Because whatever I say <laughs> will be wrong. Yeah, you'll she'll look it up. Hey Friday. Hello oh, hey, everyone. Friday. I hope Hello. you all had a great like New it. Year's. We played a drinking game at our friend's house. Our like best friends, like our kids call them aunt and uncle. So we were all over there and we played a drinking game. And we're old and you didn't, you know, we shouldn't be playing drinking games. So we were smart. Like if we were 18, the cups would have been full of, you know, tequila or vodka and rum and right. Like, cause there were four different shot glasses you had to take shots from. Um, so, but we're old. So instead we had two different kinds of beer and a mead and a cider. So that was what we were nice. taking shots of. And for the record, got just as drunk as I would have at 18, as in the equivalent right. for my old it age. It tastes better, right? Like, and it tastes better. And we didn't pay for it nearly as much the next day, right? Like, yeah, you yeah. know, it was... <laughs> But again, when I was, you know, well, let's admit it. I'm boring. I didn't drink it. I was 18. When I was 21, because I didn't start drinking until I was 21. I know that's boring, but it's true. You can ask my mom. She'll vouch for it. I am so lame. When I turned 21, I went out with my mother and had my first shots. That yeah. more sounds like you had a cool mom. And we have still have some nuts. Then move super fast and it's quite comical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's comical to them. No, but it's no. comical. Yep. During technical issues here. Yes. <laughs> Dave has cursed you with his main oh, internet. We've, uh, it's back, I think. Some of us have become narrow slits. <laughs> Seems... Yeah, but is it going to stay back? Because this is really annoying. Do we need to tell all the kids to go off the internet? I mean, what? I, I can't, I can't live like know. this. I understand. can't live like this. I understand. There's two additional things I can do. One of them is free. And we got a new is... box and everything, for Definitely heaven's sake. not. Well, we're not you using could, their box. You could give them a book. They have books. They both have Kindles with lots of books on them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're not using AT&T's box. Because no, you're good, not your history. We're just having problems. And because the stream is coming through Ooh. us, hence right. you're getting the problems. So I hey, apologize. Not your history teacher. Why don't you ask your quiz question again? Ooh, uh, what's a quiz ooh. question? He came what into my that? stream with a really good quiz question. Ooh, I like those questions. I won't uh I won't participate because now I know the answer, but I got it right. Oh. That's a challenge now. Say if it's a clever thing, I'll totally miss it. Just for the record. Not that clever. Dolly is role playing her shortness. <laughs> quiz, okay, time. quiz time. Hey, Coro. Quiz time. Here we go. I'm I'm gonna assume it's a history question. Ooh. What was the first city to reach a population of one million? Hmm. I'm going to say Paris. Ooh. I was actually going to go with um, Shanghai. Mm. Or whatever it was called at that time. It said multiple names. Sounds fair. I'm going to say Paris. Anyone else? Shanghai, Beijing. Whichever is the... I'll guess yeah. London, I guess. That's a possible one. Hey, no looking it up. That's cheating. I'm not. <laughs> no, you're not. Just... But some people were looking away. Is oh, no, I was looking at my other monitor. I, now, I that I kind of, now that I've guessed, correct. I'm going to look it up. I I'm, I'm gonna, I, I think it's good probably guesses like so far, so we haven't got it. Old, so y'all guess old, somewhere else. Like, yes, you know, I know the right answer, and I have not heard it. Do you know why I know the right answer? 
Because it was on your channel. Mm -hmm. I knew the right answer. Well done. I guessed the right answer. (laughs) I didn't know it, but I guessed it. Fair enough. Maybe Rome. I know the answer now. Oh, Rome's a good answer. My brain keeps thinking Rome, too, but I'm like... (sighs) (sighs) I'm not... Tokyo's like... Maybe, but... Oh, there you go. I thought, I yep. thought Paris, oh, it is wrong. Good job. Hey. I thought Paris hit before London, though. I remember watching this whole graphic because I couldn't believe Paris was first. So apparently that graphic I watched was wrong. Sorry, I was muted because I was eating cookies. and I don't want people hearing me chew. But my guest was Rome. I mean, yeah, yeah, not just yeah, yeah, because yeah, I sure, was silent. Sure. Come in later. I completely believe you, Jess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I'm, nice try. Mm-hmm. Ka- Kaz totally believes you, Jess. Big I was, yes. <laughs> I was thinking London because of the Industrial Revolution, uh, but at Rome crossed my mind at least. But I was like, eh. the, the society that oh. builds the roads gets the people, and the yeah, Romans built all the roads. Yeah, I mean, what have the Romans ever done for us? Was slaves. everything? Let's be clear. Yes. No. 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 Yes. No. Yeah. Like three quarters of that population was slaves. Yeah. Probably <laughs> more like that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I remember how they said they were trying to dress the slaves like everyone else because if the slaves realized how much they outnumbered everyone, they would have revolted way earlier. Oh, so I remember smart. reading that about Rome. Yep. Because the slaves are revolting. <laughs> we're back to Mel Brooks. All right. <laughs> it's good to be king. Awesome, awesome. The Romans had a formula for concrete that would absorb water that we cannot replicate to this day. They would build bridges and like causeways out of it. And we can't figure out how to do it because it would be super useful. Um, but we can't figure it out. So that's very interesting. I, I love that. On it was some aliens, level. I don't know why I love dumb. that. Yes. Yes. Obviously. I've seen all the History Channels. It's definitely aliens. Mm-hmm. I'm not so you guys have been stable for a good but... five minutes now, I'd say. Yeah, I think we're pretty stable. You want to give it a go? I'm looking Maybe at the you clock. start if you are. Jess is laughing because I say that in meetings. We're just... Sorry, getting phone call. All right, who's going to do the recap? Uh, I guess that would be me. Uh, okay, so, yeah, no singing this time. Um, <laughs> which I, I do both for uh, my own uh, uh, well-being and yours. Uh, so, uh, right. Um, Teo has uh, murdered his friends, blamed uh, his old patron. One. One friend. Mm-mm. There were probably others. We don't really that know. That we know of. Right. <laughs> they um, were friends. <laughs> so, uh, Dolly uh, has, has brought him out here to, to find a new patron. Uh, that will hopefully not encourage Teo to murder uh, his party members. Um, uh, a genie named uh, Basul. Uh, Teo has been um, he's been visited by a woman in a dream who he as he as uh, the, this has gone on. He started to remember more and more of, particularly once um, the last vestiges of his old patron were purged from him. He started to be able to, be able to remember a lot more about her. Um, and she was somebody that he grew up with. Um, she said that um, that when they were young, she, she also uh, pledged herself to the same patron. But... Um, Basul had uh, basically managed to free her. Um, And she also said that the town of Haven was being slowly destroyed by a devil named Abraxas uh, who had, uh, who is impersonating Basul. Um, So you are now in um, the actual um dungeon in the side of the in the side of the mountain where Basul supposedly is. Um you the the you encountered a trap and then an earth elemental uh killed the earth elemental and discovered a fist-sized glowing blue gem, which um 
Dolly picked up uh, with the end of her staff and nobody has looked at yet. And that is where we're starting. Well, and uh, Zeke and uh, Kaz both have new uh, icons. Yes, that's yes. true. Oh, yeah. I, I would How definitely we have like stuff to up here, uh, use detect magic on the orb on the end of my staff. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess I use it on myself, and then I detect magic all around me. Right. So you detect magic on the glowing blue gem and discover that it is, in fact, magic. Um, it's not radioactive. It is not radioactive. <laughs> uh, let's see. It is... Um, I think that's conjuration magic. Conjuration. Could I roll that's arcane? It. Initiating combat mode. Oh man, that is the worst second first uh, possible roll it could have been. Seven. Can yeah. Can can I also roll Arcana? <laughs> you sure can. Yeah, Dolly, you get that it is good for a flashlight. Twenty-two. <laughs> Tayo, on the other hand, um, you can very faintly hear <clears throat> screams. Coming from it, like in your head. <laughs> I feel like Teo is always faintly hearing screams. Oh, that's that's special. I'm, I mean, he's probably not wrong with that. But uh... <laughs> all right, well, I will uh, inform Dolly and the others that I faintly hear screams. <laughs> the glowing <laughs> orb thing, and not the normal screams that I'm always hearing. Uh, okay. <laughs> This is a different set of screams, you know, um, I want to be clear. Yeah. And, and with that role, um, this is a, uh, well, you also know that, that, uh, sometimes very large, expensive gemstones, um, such as this one are used to, um, capture and store souls, which kind of makes sense with everything that you're you're seeing and hearing here. Like a certain epic fantasy series. Um, <clears throat> yes. Are you going to share that part of the information with us too or uh, hold that? No, I'm going to I'm going to share that part of the information cool. as well. Yeah. I'm it's surprised he didn't out. only tell Dolly. Well, then we should let them out. I'm surprised too. We should let them out. Uh, Wait. There is there a way to there? communicate with them before we let them out to find out who it is? He said they're screaming and they're trapped in there. We should let them out. Uh, but they could be evil. So maybe it's best they're inside. We definitely want to identify who we've got here. Does anybody have detect good and evil? Or is that oh. a thing? Wouldn't they be really small? We would be able to hand. They're so small. Yeah, they're they're souls. souls. They're this big. The gem is not that big. I'll go sit I in the think corner. For now, it is. <laughs> Just be careful where you sit. On my staff, sustained. Don't sit on her suspended. staff. Suspended. It's suspended in animation on my staff. No one touch it, okay? And we'll all be fine. We'll just figure this. We'll figure this out later. So we're just gonna leave them in there screaming. They've been screaming for who knows how long. Do you know how to let souls out of a stone? I try by breaking it. That could destroy them. And then you would have, sure, ended their torture, but possibly also ended their lives if their bodies are suspended. Their lives are already else. dead. they are souls. No, oh, their body could be suspended somewhere in here. Possibly. You know what? I will trust you with the magic, but I'll tell you I don't feel very good about it. Maybe we Now we're going to go bash some more heads in. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go make some more souls. Let's, uh, no, no souls <laughs> ask for it. Let's go. <laughs> He's evil. I told you he was evil. <laughs> that, that was an out of character comment. <laughs> All right. Where are you going? 
I was gonna say Dolly's so, not leaving. She's she's gonna hang back. Does not want to get punched in the gut by an elemental. All right, so we're gonna go forward and to the left, I guess. Right, that's the next place to go. Okay. Well, All right, that's wrong. Where am I? Can everybody move their uh, their tokens? I will. Well, we have I'll... this lever. We got to deal with the lever. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to check the lever? Check it for traps? Yeah, I'll get out of the way if you want to go check for traps. Yeah. I, I trust you. You've been rocking with those locks. Let's see if you can check for traps. All right. Okay. My go-to is just to break it, so I'm not very helpful with uh, this. Uh, what do I do for this? Is this a pers- no investigation? How do I? What do I roll for? Uh, this? Uh, so yeah, this is uh, either investigation or perception, whichever one is better. I will definitely take investigation. Okay. By the way, the audience should take note of the like cool new tokens. Nineteen. Right. Nineteen. Um. The, the lever itself does not appear to be trapped. However, it is definitely used to activate something that you cannot see. Can we walk not, around the lever without touching it? Sure can. It's not trapped. I want to pull it. What if, does anybody have like mage hand or something that we could remotely... Far away, oh, activated. Hand thing. Oh, that's mage a good hand. idea. Get out of the way and somebody do it. Mage I like that idea. I have the spell, but I can't use it because I don't have a patron who lets me use it anymore. So, uh. spells are beyond me. Wah, wah. <laughs> wow. Someone got rid of my patron. <laughs> you did. You I just said someone. I didn't say. <laughs> Some <laughs> jackass. Wait, <laughs> so, uh, can everybody else see on the roll twenty? Because I can't see anything. I can see on roll twenty, and actually, I was going to say, Kevin, I can see what probably the lever is supposed to reveal on the map. Mm-hmm. If you can see all the way down to the end of the hall, you can see what you're supposed to. Okay. Yeah, I see some sort of. Sp- pit with a bunch of spikes in it and then i mm-hmm. see this like blue flame thing yep dude does kaz see those things um yeah um you don't actually have um dark vision but there are people behind you with lights so guys there's a big pit here but i'm pretty sure i can jump it so here goes here goes i'm nothing. jumping oh, i'm jumping it Okay. It's only five feet. Um, okay. You can jump it easily. Oh, boo. Boring. Okay. Like, but I, I have jumped. Off. We don't need okay. a mage hand. We have me. So, um, you land on the, uh, on, the, on the other side, and the floor drops about an inch. Good. And then it stops. Good. I duck. You duck. And then a five by five foot section of stone falls out of the ceiling on top of you. Oh, well, ducking did not work. <laughs> did any, we so had to, did you, what? The penitent man gets squished? Uh, no. <laughs> how much could uh, it weigh? How much damage could it do? Okay, we're good. so we're good. you take 23 points of damage. Sure. Now, from, from y'all's the uh from where you're standing actually uh Zeke, when you're you're looking at you're looking at this this section of stone falls on top of kaz and it crushes the far wall of that pit so the the where where kaz is standing moves like this and starts to slide down um and Kaz, you're like rolled underneath the the um, the piece of stone. Um, you may try to make a strength check not to fall into the pit the with pit? The spikes. Sure. Couldn't I have like tried to dodge guess, that? Guess this boat's gonna be ours soon. <laughs> Kaz, <laughs> if you had not ducked. Kaz, we need oh. you to sign this last will and testament <laughs> <laughs> really fast while you're still I can't, use, I can't use my uncanny dodge. It's uncanny. 
Uh, you can use your uncanny dodge to half that damage. I will t- do that then. Hell yeah. Okay. How much, how much was it? So you'll take um, 11 instead of 23. All right. So you'll take 12 less. So 27. That's much better. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to do a strength check uh, with uh, the thing. What is the thing where you get to go again? Inspiration? Yeah. Okay, you rolled a six and a 20. 20. Okay. I was saying that while I was rolling the first one, so I didn't have that first number yet. I wouldn't cheat. Oh, no, no, no. I understood what you were doing. Uh, Okay, so the the block slides off of you. Nice. you manage to to grip with your uh, with your clawed hands um, into the stone and and not go um, down onto the poison spikes to then get hit again by the the uh, the five by five stone block. It's good that that um, didn't happen. Yes. Uh, so now um, the. Uh, the, the the stone block is on top of the is on top of the spikes. It crushes the spikes, um, and then you have to hop down a little bit. But you can um, everybody else can walk walk through now. Castle, my God, are you okay? Put the candle back. <laughs> <laughs> now listen to me very carefully. Whatever you do, do not touch the candle. No. Uh, yes, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. See guys, I took care of it. The pit is the pit is taken care of. So what happens if we pull the lever? <laughs> so uh, probably if, you, if you pull the lever, um, that was rhetorical. It, it's, it's got two positions. No, he said it. So I'm I'm doing. No, no, I said what uh, happens if? That's a question. The first, the first one thing way is to it, find out. it tries to uh, it tries to close the lid over the over the pit trap. But it can't because there's a there's a big stone block in the way. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, then at the second position, it tries to lock the floor in where Kaz is lying so that it wouldn't drop and activate the other trap. So we should um, have really pulled the lever is what so you're pulling saying. the lever would have just made the trap not happen. Who set up this dungeon? I wanted to pull the lever. You Who wrote this episode? Just saying. Can't help it. <laughs> Maybe we came in the back door, and this is, you know, where the disabled trap section is. <laughs> Kaz will look over at Zeke and not really say anything, but just kind of... Yep. Wanna... So uh, I'll go ahead and, and, and uh, walk on past Kaz here, and while I do... Or five... I think that's no, right. No, you, you gotta do the voice, man. Kaz, well, he was narrating. Kaz, you've got to be a bit more careful. And uh, splash a little beer on Kaz and cast Cure ah, Wounds. That's good. For 12 points of healing. Nice. You've <laughs> out-healed the Shaughness in one moment. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely efficient healing. It's good. Yeah, I mean, that was the damage I took. So, mm-hmm. See? That was also Problem the max the solved. Spell, which is perfect. Problem solved. All, All right. right. So and Kaz, you now. are standing in front of a uh, another one of those big rusty metal doors. It's actually double doors. Really? Where? Yeah. I'm behind uh, Ezekiel. It's on the wall right. immediately to the south of you. Oh, oh, this oh, is a door. I didn't even door. notice that door. I, I didn't know that was a door. Oh. oh, interesting. Can I, well, I told you. Can I totally listen to the door? Sure. Uh, that would be perception. Ugh. Not my strong. The door point. tells you its life story. Yeah, yeah. I I don't even know the door's there. <laughs> see what a <laughs> is that blue fire I see? Yeah, yeah it is blue fire. I, I'm, um, I I want to know about the blue fire. It's kind of it's kind of dim. Um, the uh the door says nothing to you. I'm gonna knock on the door and see what I hear. Oh God! All right, so you know, you know from previous experience. Wait, I hear you know, knocking. Wait, I hear knocking. <laughs> it's me, guys. Oh damn! 
Uh, and uh, the where the pit trap is is just the big stone block, so you can you can. So walk I can past go there it. now. Okay, cool. Um, so these doors are about three inches thick of uh, solid iron. So yeah, I mean you knock on it and you can thud thud thud. So nothing happens. <laughs> All right. What's is what's is it a flush door? Is there a lock? Is there a knob? Like what's on the door? Um it does not appear to have any kind of um uh handle or knob or anything like that. Can I the squeeze around everybody to get to here? Sure. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm going to cast Ray of Frost on that fire. Wow. Okay. Uh, Bernadette, are you doing anything? Or are you just... Uh, Bernadette is having uh, technical difficulties at the moment. So give me a few minutes. Because I'm trying to get the D and D Beyond stuff to open up. It won't open up for me right now. Okay. All right. Cast. Uh, hey, I guess you can roll the hit for that. I mean, pretty much anything but a one. Eleven. That's two right. ones. You, your uh, ray of frost goes zinging right through the the flames. Um, you can't really see what it hits on the other side. You think maybe there's another door behind it. You're not a hundred percent sure. But the fire is undeterred. Yes. From this distance, I should be able to, to detect magic. So is it magical fire? It is, in fact, the magical kind of ever-burning blue flame. Do you get any magic from this door while you're detecting? Situas. I sure can look at that door with my eyes. They look very normal doors. Normal doors. No magic here. I push on them just gently with the with the handle of my axe. David, is is that a happy pickle? What? Uh, that that is Av's uh, acidic virus is one of his emotes, and I love that emote. Oh, it's very it's, cute. It does. It looks like a dancing pickle to me. It's a happy acidic virus. Okay. All right. Uh, who's doing what now? Did somebody tell me they were doing something? It was going to get everybody killed. Yes, I'm pushing. Probably, I'm pushing um, on the doors gently with the um, the handle of my axe. Just all right. Just let me see if it's going to open. Uh, yes. Unlike uh, many of the other doors, this just swings open. Hello, is there a patron in here somewhere? Uh, here we go. It's a suspiciously empty room. There is a I'm rug. I'm sure it's there. safe. I don't trust rugs. Hey guys, this door is open. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, there doesn't seem to be much in there other than a uh, really crapped up looking rug. Um, Can I like take a step in and then like roll for? perception or anything to see if there's anything I'm going to step on that's going to kill me. Sure. There's another door on the far, far wall, I see. There is another door on the far wall. All right, Zafo, I can't play anymore. You made me get used to three screens. Now I only have two, and now I just can't do it. <laughs> oh, that's I don't no even good. Know. It's, it's really bad. Okay, here we go. So Don't I'm going to take one world. step in. And then perception is what I roll? Yes. Or investigation, if it's better. Let's do investigation. Okay. 20. 20. Okay, so what do you? What specifically were you, t- you looking for? I just want to see if there's anything dangerous, like if I was going to step on a trap or if there was a scorpion or, you know, anything that, that like, gets my goosebumps up and I'm thinking I need to swing at it. Uh, you see no traps. You certainly see no monsters. Just you and a shitty, ratted-out-looking rug. Hmm. 
Guys, you want to check out this door? We head into the fire. Like, what's Is there anything under the rug? Like a trap door? You want to come in here and look? How, yeah. how many how many hours would it take to break down the rug, and how many cloth would I get? <laughs> <laughs> it's so frustrating you can't break break rugs down. There are many rugs, and you cannot break them. Down. I'm glad that we're we're now like specifically catering to our new long dark fans <laughs> who are attending. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, I would like to check underneath the rug. Okay. Um, yeah, you roll up the edge of the rug. Um, it's very threadbare. If you if you pulled too hard on it, you'd pull it apart. Um, just more. Uh, yeah, it's very dusty. Um, more stone underneath it. Um, you there are all manner of uh, tracks across this rug, though, um, and a lot of them do not appear to be uh, remotely human. Do the tracks seem to go back and forth to that door? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't know. Should we? Oh, oh, way to role play, Dolly. She sneezed and everything. See, yeah. um, <clears throat> should should we like go? You want to follow these like tracks? Does anybody recognize these tracks? Like, is it cobalt or anything? We're still looking for some cobalts. Does anybody have nature that they can check? I can certainly look. I don't know if I'll be very good at telling you what it is. I can try. I got. I rolled a twelve. Okay. I don't know if nature's the right thing. It just made sense to me for tracks. Kaz is going to count the uh, uh, the poison tip spikes that she can see in the pit. I thought they were covered with the stone now. Well, if that, she's not. Her count is not very high. <laughs> it's <not> an accurate count. <laughs> Um, give me a, uh, religion check, um, uh, Zeke and, uh, Rhonda. Hey, I can do that. Let me Eight. pray on it for a moment. 16. There you go. Okay, um, with a 16, um, the tracks that you're, some of the tracks that you're looking at, not all of them, um, you think might be, um, some kind of uh, fiend, like mm. a, a devil or demon or something like that. There, uh, there's too many toes, claws, um, lots of little tears in the rug. Um, some uh, some burn marks. It's it's and and there's a very faint uh, whiff of brimstone. It's it's not a. Uh, it's 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 setting off your uh, spidey sense. So look so at the spiders. tracks. I I think I recognize a bit of this. It looks a bit like a bit like a dance only a fiend would do. It's it's very specific to them. Just the the way that they're they're laid out. It's it's definitely definitely something they would do. I mean. There's the brimstone and the and the, the the claw marks and and some burns, but I'm sure that has nothing to do with it. Dolly, Dolly perks up at this and runs into the room. Okay. Um, wait, wait. Dolly's running in. I was about to leave. You went in on the fiend thing. So well, there's a door uh, over there. Dolly, give me a uh, history check, please. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Oh no! Huh. How did you roll? <laughs> a <Okay>. three. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, with a three, um, you are definitely inside the same room with the rug. <laughs> Excellent. Nailed it. Uh, you 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 certainly remember coming into this room, uh, in, in as far as your his personal history goes. <laughs> Right. You can't remember why you did, but no, no, uh, but but uh, definitely that you're there. So I, I guess I I'll just point out, anyone... like, so we have we have the very obvious like flame guarded door down the hall that might conceal something important, but also might be a little too obvious. So I'm just trying to get everyone's thoughts on that. Yeah, like, but if this fiend is anything like that dude that was outside that we couldn't touch, is it a good idea for us to go through this door? I mean, I'm up for it, but I just wanted to make sure we were all on board. 
I think the guy out front was an illusion. You can't, you can't just dodge magic missile. You can't. Yeah, and didn't we like see him in a different spot once we were on the other side, kind of thing? You know? No, he yeah. like disappeared and then came back. Right. I think he's an illusion. Or he could just be MC Hammer. His pants were too small. <laughs> what was in his pants is too small too. What were you there looking was... at? Ooh. Dolly is at waist height. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm interested in in banging down that door if someone with a little more meat on their bones than me would go check it out. All right, I'm up for whatever Dolly says. After this, we're killing that dragon, so let's go. All right. So I'm going to go. I'm not even thinking about it any longer. I mean, let's face it, I'm still like berserk, right? So I don't know. It lasts how long? A minute. Well, yeah, oh, never mind. I would not be berserk that. anymore then. Yeah, okay, so if I do, I'm You actually, and, we, and that's a good point because you yeah. are now at minus one on everything. Right? Yeah, that's right. Because the exhaustion thing. Okay. So I'm going to come right over here and not doubt it. And I'm just going to, um, is there, is this look just like the steel doors outside? No. Like, is there no anything? So I'm not even, I'm there not even. There is a pull on this door. Oh, there is a pull. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take the pull with my, um, the axes that I throw and I'm going to hook the door so I don't touch it, but I'm going to pull it, just pull it open. I'm not going to think about it anymore than that. Okay. I guess uh, DVDB is rocking the baby kobold right now. Maybe he's crying a little bit. She's in the other room. Yeah, I like that. She's she's comforting the baby. Yeah, yeah. We did just call. we did just find a really big, horrible rock monster. So yeah, uh, that's what you see looking in there. Oh, um, a... um, Dollar, are you sure? Is this the same guy that was outside? No. Okay, just making this is sure. Much I don't bigger. Know what he like. He's about ten feet high. Um, he... glowing orange eyes, teeth just poking up all over the place, um, big bat wings, turns and looks at you and says something in a language you don't understand. Um, Dolly, if you want to roll a uh, perception to see if you can hear it. Hey, yeah. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Dolly's nope. really great today, man. Great. With a five, you do not. All right, I'm like, I, uh, go ahead. Oh, I, I do. I don't know if it's speaking in deep speech, but I understand that. If so, I could roll and see if I could hear it. It far. is not speaking in deep speech, but you get the basic gist of, of what it's saying, which sounds something like roll initiative. <laughs> does, does this does this individual, this, this fellow we have uh, stumbled upon, look like an Abraxas? <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't know what a Braxis should look like, so it's hard to say. Just, just checking. All right, I'm gonna say I let the door go. Step one back up. Uh, take one step back and goes. Um, guys, it's big. Right, but before you do that, we need to roll initiative. Oh, okay. So to quote Arthur Dent, "So this is it. We're about to die." Oh. Did it reconnect? Yep, oh, yes. We did. We did. The stream. And the stream Whoops. reconnected? Things look okay-ish. No, it says stream oh is reconnecting. God. We all froze. We all froze in really great ways. Come on. Every time we have a session, Greg, Greg will freeze in teams, and I he never unfreezes. Like, huh. I can hear him, but his face will just stay frozen. It's always Greg. It's never anyone else. Good. Um, my wife off the streaming, I guess. What's Teo's initiative? I know. Twenty-one. You're gonna have to kick the kids off. Twenty-one. Bernadette. Uh, I don't know. 
I'm trying to okay. still sign in, so... so take right. it. Bernadette's been um, in the back room with the baby kobold. Yeah, and surprise You're changing Bernadette. a diaper. It's yeah, a big ass baby oh, thing. I am so glad you said that. <laughs> Actually, the baby kobold is starting to awaken and cry. Well, that's why um, she was comforting it, see? And, uh, di- uh, let's see. Uh, no, Kevin, what, what was your... What did you roll? I rolled a... Oh, cool. I rolled a two. Sweet. Yeah. It's good for the healer to go last. Here's the bad news. I rolled a four, and it's minus one, so a three. Oh, that's right. I forgot about your minus one. Mm-hmm. Why did the thing just say broadcast capabilities are turned off? Because I'm trying to fix a problem that. where I only see oh. one person at a time. Teams is not playing nice. All right, I'm going to okay. drop and reconnect the meeting on my end. Oh, it looks like we're down again. <laughs> oh, no. Vamp in the hey, chat, if that's even still up. Videos. No, I, we're kind of back. Kind of back. On NDI. I don't see... Oh, Kelly has a video. Hey! Okay. Hey! We're back. Hey! All right. And we have the combination. Yes. (laughs) You have to always say that. Greg is frozen. Well, you say I'm always frozen. No, no, I guess no, not, not frozen for me. Blame done. Hashtag blame John. That seems unappropriate. That seems unappropriate. And of course, they jump all over it. Of course. <laughs> of course. Especially when you react to it. <laughs> okay, so we're back up. Cool. We are. It, yes, it seems that way. All right. So let's see. Does it make a difference between four or three? It does not. All right. So um, I guess we will go ahead and get started. Um, yeah. Teo, you're first. <laughs> The most useful party member is first, of course. Um, so the room beyond Rhonda is dark, but you can there is there is sort of a dull orange glow of fire coming from inside, and you can see this thing's brightly uh, orange glowing uh, eyeballs. I can so, I can and I'm and I have a devil's sight, so I can I can you do not be able to see it. Huh? You do not have devil's sight. Oh, because of the patron thing. Yes. Can Changeling yeah. see in the night? No, it's a it was a warlock thing. Uh... All right. Well, I'm just gonna aim for its eyes, I guess. Uh, Go for the eyes, Boo. Go for the eyes. My light crossbow, which I'm sure will be super effective against this horrifying thing. You should use the super effective crossbow. Yes. Yes. Um. Hey, a 19 for hit. A 19 is what you need to hit. Ooh, oh, that's, trouble. that's alarming. Okay. I say we run. <laughs> uh, here's for damage. Eight. Eight. Okay. Which is almost the maximum Excellent. damage this weapon can do. <laughs> All right. So, Teo takes first blood. You got anything else you want to do? Um, Movement lines or anything? Is crapping my pants in action? Uh, Uh, You can do that as a free action, I think. (laughs) I'll try and I'll try and hold hold that off till later. That might be like a last ditch defensive maneuver. Do you want to move out of the way or? Um, Sure, I will. I will sidestep here to clear the path for folks. Okay. All right. After Teo is Kaz. All right, so something I had completely forgotten about 
is that I have the Eldritch Claw tattoo. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this says, when this tattoo is on your skin, aren't arm strikes are considered magical for the purpose of overcoming immunity and resistance to non-magical attacks and gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage with unarmed strikes. Yes. Okay. So just throwing that out there. It should be... It should have already been added into the math uh, for your unarmed strikes on your character sheet. Oh, okay. All right, so each square is five feet? Correct. And I can move 30 feet? Right. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, yeah, so I can't get there. I don't want to block the door. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to hold my action. And if he comes in the room, I'll... I'll attack him. Okay. Kick him squaw in the dangly bits. Not exactly right. my plan, but yes. Next. At 10 feet tall, should probably punch him in the dangly bits. That's fair. That's fair. So what you're saying is we're all at waist level for this guy. Yeah, I'm at like kneecap level now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Okay. Um, the bad guy pulls a pair of very large swords and rushes through the door. Now, when he does, he shoves, uh, Rhonda. So Rhonda, I need you to make a strength roll. So you're just, um, actually, you can make uh, athletics. That's probably better. All right. You want to use that? Okay. I like strength better. All right. So that'd be 14. So you got a 14. Okay. So he pushes you one square back. And jumps into this space. And then he takes a pair of swipes with his swords. So the first one is a 13, which, let's see, does that even hit you? It does not. Nope, with. I ducked. With. Nice. And then a 25. That, that hits. Which is definitely going to hit. I don't okay. Way. So let's see. You will take now. This there's going to be several parts to this. So uh, you take six That's points of slashing damage. You take nine points of fire damage. That sword is incredibly hot. And then you have to make a constitution save. Oh, thank God that was high. 20. No problem. Okay, so nice. the sword the sword slices. And when it does, you can start to feel a numbness spreading out. Um, and and your 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 arms are moving a little bit slower. And then you concentrate and shrug it off. Mm. Watch it, guys. This guy is tough, man. Did I get my free shots at him when he came in? Uh, you do not get a free shot at him just for walking in the room. I held my action so that if he came in the room, I would attack him. Then yes, take your free shots. Okay. I mean, I did. I did say that. It's not right? really a free you shot. Did. It's you just you did. Like you said that. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. free shots. Okay. Right. It was the the word free that was confusing right. me because they're okay. not free shots. All right. So this now you, Kevin, you and I have talked about how we have been playing Kaz a bit wrong. So this would just be a single attack. She already moved. Right. It's a single attack, and but you can still take the bonus action. Okay. All right. I'm not sure I'm gonna take the bonus action because I think I might want to save it for the dodge. Okay. Uh, but maybe not. I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to save it. I mean, I'm going to take them both. So this is two unarmed strikes. All right. And on uh, that one doesn't hit. So that's a 14. So that's no good. Right. 
Now that did not add the the Eldritch thing. That would have been a fifteen. Okay. I can't see what that one was. Seventeen. I needed a nineteen. You need a nineteen. All right, and uh, I got nothing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and reveal the rest of this room down here. What kind of a world do we live in where a 17 doesn't hit? I oh, ask. my God, there's a Oh, there's one. a second giant. And uh, Kaz, give me a strength or uh, athletics check. Sure. Uh, 23. Okay. So, um... This one comes running up and tries to shove you. Um, and you easily uh, just sort of jump aside and it can't get past you. Roger. You shall not pass. Yes. All right. Um, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, but it can't attack you from there. However, it, has it doesn't have to, though. It's, it's uh, trying to attack around the corner. It's so, with this advantage, it rolls a nine. And an eight. Yeah, it's trying to get you around the corner, and every time it does, you just jump out of the way, and the, the, right. the blade goes sliding down the wall. You get hit with sparks, but... Uh, it doesn't. It, it doesn't get you. Uh, okay, so that was that. Uh, Dolly. All right, I'm gonna do something fucking stupid. Here we go. Here we go. Dolly's just gonna like. Nope, she's not gonna draw lines. She's gonna jump right in here. Oh. Uh, the uh, the demons right there. Yes. Uh, yeah, there's two demons. You're standing next to one. It, oh, man. Can I, can I cohabitate the same space as Kaz? Uh, you can if you want to squeeze. I'm gonna squeeze in there. Yeah. Huh. Oh, no. <laughs> now I'm under you. Okay, well. Uh, and now I'm gonna <laughs> cast Thunderwave at a fourth level. Okay, yeah. and what's the range on that? It is a fifteen foot cube, so gotcha. okay, so yeah, so you can you can place it to just get them. Yep. All right. That's a and con fourteen. Con fourteen. Yeah. And if they make it, it's half. Half damage and don't get shoved. Uh, okay, the one next to you does not make it. That's sixteen. And the other right? one, does not make it even worse. <laughs> nice. 16 damage straight to their faces. And also they get shoved against the wall, which would be concussive damage because they cannot go back any further. Which I believe is, is half. Of the initial damage. Okay, so he goes, he can go back here, but the other one can't. He should get shoved one more, right? Ten feet? Uh, okay. All right. The other one actually can get shoved into uh, uh, Rhonda. So, Rhonda, give me another strength check. Yeah, guys, if we shut the door really fast, maybe the second one will forget we're in here. <laughs> yes. Video game mechanics. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Seven, Rhonda just gets pushed again. And uh, he doesn't move the whole way because he bounced off of Rhonda. Um, I'm going to use Tempestuous Magic after that to bloop myself over here. All right. Bloop away. All right. Anything else? Uh, a cry of maybe we should GTFO. <laughs> I don't like where I am. Maybe we should GTFO. 
Okay. If only we had that spell. The GTFO spell would be really great right now. Yeah. It would be nice. It you just like have to have an evil patron. Too bad we got rid of the evil patron. Rainy, you having any luck yet? Yep, I'm good to go. Yes. All right, go ahead and roll initiative so I can add you. And you can come up here at least by the door because you would have come up here by the door with the rest of us before it started. Sure. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. And uh, what is Bernadette's dexterity? Uh, fourteen. And Teo, what's your dex? Um, thirteen. Okay. All right, Bernadette, we're going to go ahead and take your turn right now, and then we'll uh, we'll add you in the right spot. Uh, in a minute. Okay, so, so gonna, these I'm are uh, f- these are demon guys, or what are these guys? Yeah, demons or devils or something. You're not really sure. Mm, they're ten feet tall it's and, it's, feet and tall. very hot, very very hot. Oh, well, good thing I have uh, fire immunity. So, um, all right. So from where I'm at, I'm going to uh, let's try a fire breath at them and see what happens. I don't think anything, but I kind of want to find out. Okay. Um, you are going to need to um, get in there a little bit. Otherwise, you're going to fire breath on some of your friends. Okay. Wait, you already moved yourself in. Never mind. Let me get rid of that extra Bernadette. Okay. Yes, just go right from where you're at. Okay. And uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. It won't get both of them. Unless you want to take a step forward. Yep, I want to take one step forward here. All right. Are you blowing fire at them? Yeah, I just want to see what will happen. Oh, I was going to say, if you heal them, I swear. I was going to say, if it doesn't heal. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, they're both healed up. um, And they are, uh, now that they have been fire breathed on, they also both have new cars. Um, (laughs) Uh, no, but it does not appear to do skill. any damage at all. Okay, good. That's what I wanted to know. Uh, you got anything else? Uh, no, because I would, I'd have to attack with something else, right? Yes. Yep, nope. Okay. Uh, let's see. In that case, uh, Dolly went. It is Zeke's turn. Well then, let us see. I think first of all, I'm going to have to get in the room. I don't know that I want to be in the room, but I'm going to have to be there anyway. Uh, I'll go ahead and move over here. Uh, I think, if I remember correctly, everyone is currently looking pretty good still. Oh, no, I'm not looking good at all. Oh, and I'm you're not sweating a lot. All. Hi. Rhonda, you're looking a bit... Uh, like you've had a bit of a bad day. Let's see what we can do about that. And I will cast... Healing Word at... How bad are we talking? Uh, I guess we'll do it at third level. Um... For a total of 16 hit points. I'll take it because I'm about to rage, so I'll take half in a minute. So now, thank you later, um, my love. Just to to remind you, it's too late now. But healing word is a range spell that that heals less damage. Um, heal wounds is a touch spell that heals more damage, and you are in touch range of her. Well, that's oh, okay because then you can right. use it you on someone cast. else. I should have cast Cure Wounds at the same level. It's right. no, I'm about I to take half damage. Wounds. I feel better yeah. now. Yeah. I think you're going to want that Cure Wounds next round. Yeah. It's just yeah. my prediction. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> call okay. me crazy, but I don't think they're done hurting us yet. I'm surprised there isn't more blood on this rug. I'm surprised it's just cut up, let me tell you. Uh, I'm working uh, on Bernadette, it. it is your turn. She just went. Yep, but we're starting over again, and we oh, sort right, of right. inserted her into the initiative order last time, and she's but actually... I never went legitimately going first oh you didn't 
Uh-uh. I am so sorry. Yep. Uh, Rhonda. All right, so I'm going to Rage and Frenzy. Okay. That's my second Rage, by the way. So I'm going to need a long rest, guys. Um, so I Rage and Frenzy, and then I'm just going to attack. I don't really know what else to do. So I will attack my big old axe, and I got a 13, so that did nothing. Right. And I can attack one more time, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'll try one more time. Did not help. Nope. The healing feels too good, and I guess I wasn't angry enough yet. All right. Next time. Okay. Now it's Bernie Dexter. All right. I'll pull out the old long bow. Give that a whirl. Uh, a ranged weapon when you have a uh, component in, in right next to you uh, is... Dis- has disadvantage to hit. Okay. There's a feat for that. There is a feat for that. Then I will pull out my trusty melee weapon and whack at them. Whack away. 19. 19 hits with your sickle. Seven. Seven points of damage. This one is starting to look kind of hurt. And I have two attacks, right? You sure do. So I shall give him another sickle whack. Oh! 26! That'll do. Nice. Is that a critical? Um, It didn't, like... It was a natural 20. That makes it a critical, right? Yep. Nice. Uh, eight. All right. So let's see. That is that many left. All right. Yeah. Um, he is really looking torn up. And mostly, he in, the expression on his face, it's a little difficult to parse because it's not like a normal... Uh, it's... It, it's no kind of uh, face that you are used to looking at, but if you had to guess, you would say he was extremely surprised. Possibly a little disappointed. Uh, okay. Uh, Teo? Um, well, we're going to keep it rolling with the... Uh... Crossbow, since that's my best option at the moment. I'm going to use Inspiration because it's so hard to score a hit against these guys. So... You're inspired by uh, DVDB's great performance. Yeah, yeah. jamming her sickle directly into its eyeball or whatever she just did to critical hit it. Uh, It was sick. We know what is at arm swiping level right now at 10 feet tall. It wasn't his eyeball. That's it was true. a ball. But... <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> despite having inspiration, my best roll was a 13. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that bounces off, uh, off of one of his horns. Um, yeah, um, uh, so uh, all of this damage that he's taking uh, is is apparently starting to arouse him. And all I can say is that it's uh. sort of like an axe. Uh, um, we don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Way too much information. All right. Uh, let's see. Next is... Uh, let's see. That was Teo. Bad guys. Okay. Um, what did they roll for initiative? They rolled a fourteen. Oh no, it's Kaz's turn. Yeah, thank you for. Yeah, well, you went first last time, so or before them. So you're gonna run into the group and attack the other one by yourself? No. Um, the door does the door open in or out? Uh, it you pulled it open, so it uh-huh. opens in. Okay. Um. 
Will it cost an action to shut the door? No. Uh, things like picking up items, opening or closing doors, uh, that sort of thing. It's uh, it's a free action, which is a type of action you guys uh, haven't really hit yet. Um, and it, it it doesn't count as a as a regular action or as a bonus action or as a reaction. It's you can only do one a turn, but it's free. All right, Kaz is going to move here, shut the door, okay, and kind of try to lean on it while attacking. Okay, or attack and then lean on it if that's allowed. If you lean and attack at the same time, you'll be attacking with disadvantage. So. But you go before they do, so you can get off both of your attacks and then lean. That's what I'd like to do. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, make your attacks with advantage because you are flanking it. All right. Unarmed strike again. Mm hmm First one is a 18. And is but that counting your... Uh, it is not bonus? counting the tattoo... Because I don't see hit. that added on, so I did hit. Okay, all right. So here's damage. And I'll add sneak to this, unless I have to say that ahead of time. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll just go But that's fine, that's fine. No, no, I'll add it to the next one. So that was nine. No, 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 it's fine. Okay, then I'll do it. Uh, bonus action. Wait, where is sneak attack anyway? You know what? I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it because I, I want to save save that. Okay. So I'll just do the other attack. Which sucked. 16. Yes. That will not hit. All right. Uh, okay. So Now I'm leaning uh, on the door with all my leaningness. Yes, with all your leaning might. All right. Um... And it's going to attack Bernadette with its big flashing swords. It's using them like um, scimitars, uh, one in each hand, but they're easily two-handed sword size. Um, so Bernadette, uh, the first attack is a 26, which uh, is going to hit you. I'm sorry, um, I muted you while you were AFK. Oh, okay. All right, so you take, let's see, 11 points plus, okay, so a total of 18 points, 11 points of slashing, 7 points of fire, and then uh, I need a constitution saving throw from you. Is she immune to Is the it... fire? Oh! Uh, you have resistance to fire, I think. You have to unmute Bernadette. Zafo can't unmute you. He can only mute you. Anyway, you'll take 14 points of damage uh, instead of 18. There you go. You got it. Your team's unmuted, but you appear to still be muted somewhere. I think the nasty weather is messing with all of our stuff. Yeah. We're both in the same kind of area, and it's pretty bad outside. <laughs> all right. Um, boom, boom, boom. Well, I tell you what. Um, Actually, I can see your uh, saving throw if you want to go ahead and roll it. So it would be a constitution saving throw. I think she's having cat interference as well. <laughs> yes, the kitties probably aren't happy about the weather either. They're like, cuddle me. Well, y'all are having uh, big storms out there in Texas again, right? We're having what? Storms in Texas. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, front came through, so it's being extra fun for a hot second. It's all right. Let it go through now. I need it nice this weekend. I'm okay with that. Camping with 300 girls, I'd really like it to be nice weather, so knock on wood. Yep, 
especially because of COVID, a whole bunch of these girls, this will be their first camping trip. So oh, wow. let's make it a good one so they like it. All right. Uh, Rainy, would you like me to make your roll for you? Sixteen. Okay, that makes it. Um, all right, you are not paralyzed. Yay! So, uh, okay, now um, Kaz needs to give me a strength, uh, just a regular strength roll. Um, but you have advantage since you are bracing yourself against the door when the other devil slams into the other side of it. Woo! All right. So advantage, first roll was a 16. Mm -hmm. Second roll was a 20. So we'll take the 20. Yeah. Um, okay, so the the metal door shudders in its uh uh in its on its hinges. Um you bang your knee against it, it hurts like hell. Uh. The door slides open yeah, about yeah, three yeah. inches and a claw comes through and then you uh, push back and it pulls, yeah. pulls back out of the way. Um, and you manage to get the, the door shut. I got uh, it, guys. Good work. Good work. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hold and door. that is both of the bad door. guys. You're giving your name now. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so wait, wait, we have that comparison. We all know how that ended. Yes. Mm. Dolly, I mean, next. I I think we all know Kaz's life expectancy is probably not that long. <laughs> well, she's too cheerful well. to die young. It'll be fine. All right, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my bonus action first and convert. I'm gonna I'm gonna convert a sorcery point into my fourth level spell slot. Get that guy back. Uh, and I'm going to huck six magic missiles at the D-bag in the corner. Okay. Huck those magic missiles. Uh, huck them. God, it won't let me... Like, I can't right-click and add more missiles. I just have to click so over and if over you again. So if you go down to the, um, the icon in the bottom left-hand corner... Click on it once, and then click on the the D four. However many times you want it to roll, tell it to roll, and then and then we'll just add the, yeah, the extra. Okay, one. sure, 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 sure. And how many missiles are you actually casting? Six missiles. Six that missiles. Okay. Going to be twenty five damage. Yep, twenty five damage. Okay, so nice. um, the first one hits it in the back of the head, spinning its head around. And it looks, its eyes are wide and enraged and then terrified as it sees the rest of the missiles bearing in oh. on its skull. And it, and it, every time it hits, it bangs its head against the wall behind it. And, and it's, it's just splashing blood in the front and in the back. And Tap when the, the spell, in, by the time the spell ends, it has slid down the wall, leaving a flaming trail of blood on the, on the wall and have killed it what? you've killed it hail dorothy <laughs> pow, 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 pow. nice one down hey, all right who has the gonna, spell lock just say it is dolly Rhonda. you are next now right. remember also Rhonda, if down. you go if you go a whole turn without either attacking or taking damage, you will lose your rage. So look out, Teo. It's time to take <laughs> one for the team. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> well, I don't know how to attack if the dude's behind the door and Kaz is holding it. I thought I did a good thing. You did do a good thing. Killing one thing at a time is a good thing. You rocked it. I mean, can my action, can I go over there and, and like, scoot Kaz to the side? 
If Kaz moves willingly, yes. Oh, yeah, sure. Come on, Kaz. One's dead. Let me in. <laughs> Kaz is going to GTFO. Yeah. yeah, Kaz will move to the side that the door doesn't open into. Yeah, um, so move, Kaz, move yourself <laughs> off one to the right. Or the left. Is that the left? <laughs> um, and you, uh, you, you did right. this thing. You did this thing over here, okay? <laughs> I was set I didn't up. I do that. I was set up. Anyway, yeah, okay. And so your free action, Rhonda, is to is to fling the door open, and the devil is immediately on the other side of the door. All right. So I am, and then I am just attacking. I am raging and in a frenzy. I couldn't not attack if I wanted to. Um, so I am attacking. Okay. Um, next. now that one sucked you, before you roll. Okay. We're not going to count that because I got to go ahead and finish talking. Um, he's in that hallway, which means he is squeezing. So you have advantage to hit him. Okay. I like that. All right. Advantage. Roll. 19. 19. Oh, no, it's one less. It's 18. Remember, I'm one minus. So still uh, again. All right, right. try again. All right. <laughs> so I'll get him this abiding. time. I get three chances. I'll get him. All right, here's the second one. Yeah, he... Uh... Oh, yeah, you are swinging that axe, and he keeps knocking it out of the way with those swords. Yeah, he might be trapped in there, but he's still bigger than I am. All right, last one. Nineteen! Woohoo! Nineteen. You hit him. Okay. Give me some damage. All right. Damage. Seven. Seven points. Which, by the way, I was just reading the details on my axe because I forgot like it was magical and stuff. And you know, I can conjure an earth elemental, and I have no idea how to do that. So I have to talk about that later. Yeah. Um, so I am willing to let you continue to have that axe as long as you don't know how to use it. Um, <laughs> because that particular axe that you picked out is um, what is called in the game a, uh, an artifact, um, mm -hmm. which is... Um, a little bit you over would, our power you level. Would, yeah, you what? would start looking for artifacts at about 15th level or so. I was going to say, she um, said she was a temporary character. I didn't pay that much attention. Sure. And that's fine. As long as okay. it's just a magic axe. So don't matter. worry about that. Gotcha. All don't right. worry about summoning elementals. Done. Okay. Um, all right. So that was Rhonda. Now, and Zeke is bringing up the rear. All right. Um, let's see. I guess I can kind of see the guy, right? Sure can. Um, is anyone looking a little, uh, rougher, you know, is anyone hurt? I think I'm we looking might be... good. So I'm not, good. Uh, I'm distracting I, figured... you. I think we might benefit at this point from taking him down rather than. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The best yeah. defense is I think good offense. Bernadette took a little bit of damage, but, um, I, but, I think uh, that in was, general, that was it's, it it's a matter time. of yeah, everyone's pretty okay. All right, so I won't go too crazy. I will just cast Toll the Dead. <laughs> uh, I told you, Dead. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a DC 15 wisdom save. All right. Hopefully these wise guys aren't too wise. Okay, DC 15 wisdom save for his Toll the Dead. He rolls a one. Okay. So that'll work. Given that toll the dead damage. Nine necrotic. Herp derp. All right. He takes it and grimaces. Probably he's either grimacing or he's laughing about something or he's gassy. You're not sure. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next is Bernadette. No. Still can't hear her. Um, you can shoot your bow from here if you want. Can you hear me now? Wait. Yes, yeah, sure yep. can. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to 
shoot my bow from where I'm at. All right. And that's probably not going to do anything. An eight. An eight is not going to hit. Now, you do have advantage to hit him. So if you want to roll again for that one, uh, because he's he's crammed into that hallway. He really did not think this through. Yeah, he's right now thinking, I should have had those slaves make this hallway bigger. Okay, that 13 is also not going to hit. So you have another, another chance. Yep. And um, you roll with advantage. Twenty-one. That nice. is going to hit. Nice. Give us some damage. Nine. Nine points. Okay. So, it as you are tracking that arrow in, at first it looks like you have missed him. Um, it goes a little bit low. And it bounces off of the back of Rhonda's helm and goes right up into his chin. Bunk okay. like that. Um, and he's he's spitting flaming blood out um, all over the place. Ugh. Um, which somehow goes around the corner and lands on uh, Kaz. Kaz. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> all right, Bernadette Teo. You know, for the record, when, when you actually do this cosplay, Dave, no matter what character it is, you need to be covered in gunk. Yes, apparently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's a, it's one of our running gags. It's, it's, it's required. It's, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, crossbow, et cetera. Um, roll with advantage. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. 19. 19 will hit. Hey. Hooray. All right. Damage. Six. Six points. Okay. Yep. You, uh, you nail him in the shoulder. Um, causing one of his swords to droop. Uh, let's see. After Teo is Kaz. All right. Uh, I got to look at where, where we are here. Okay. Uh, do I have advantage hitting him? No, because you're around the corner. So you would ordinarily have disadvantage, but it, it Cancels evens each out. Other so out. it's just, okay. a, it's a regular roll. Okay. But it's not sneak attack eligible or is it still because he's in combat with an ally? Totally sneak attack eligible because he is in combat with Rhonda. All right. So I have two unarmed strikes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I roll damage for some reason because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. There's the two hit on the first one is a 23. 23. Totally nice. hits. Right. Can I take that damage I rolled? <laughs> uh, eight. If you want. Well, I'll take that and I'll add. The, I said I was going to do the sneak attack, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the extra sneak attack is an extra nine. Okay. All right, next hit. Is a 17. That's All right, good. yeah, that you you punch right into his kneecap um, and it's a lot harder than it looks. Okay. Yeah, kind of hurt your hand. So that second attack I'm doing, is that my bonus action? Yes. Okay, all right. All right, then I'm done. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. After Kaz is the bad guy. And he is going to attack Rhonda. Come Sadly, on. Come on, boy. He has disadvantage. Rhonda has on a class it. of 16. Rhonda has like foam flying out of her face. Just, I'm like, she rolls a exactly. 21. Uh, okay, so. She rolls a 21 uh, with disadvantage. Yep. All right, so he does Sus. five points of slashing, which translates to two points of slashing for you. And then you, you also splashing? take. <laughs> I heard splashing, not slashing. Sorry, keep going. Then you also take six points of fire. Which you do, which you are not resistant to, 
Yeah. And um, you need to make a and fire. Uh, it's not half for fire, right? It's the whole thing, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So make a constitution saving throw, and you're making this at advantage because you're raging. Oh, well, then I'll just do it twice because I didn't do that. 11. All right. You are paralyzed. Mm. I'm like, Grr, uh. oh, wait, I have an action. His next attack. Am I frozen or is my internet just down? Uh, I can hear you. Yeah, and you. Yeah. No, no, I meant in the game. Maybe it's just the internet. Like it's, oh, it did watched. actually work. Well, sure. Yeah. See, the dolly was on my side. All right. So he auto hits and auto crits because you are paralyzed. Uh, so uh, fifteen points of slashing, which translates into seven more, and then the fire from the sword. Does another 19. 19? Mm-hmm. Ouch. Okay, I'm hurt now, just for the record. Yep. Uh, okay. So. Um, bum, bum, bum. Bad guy. You know what? He is, since you are paralyzed. Um, he's going to step right over her dead body. He's going to back away. Oh, okay. And um, Kaz, if you want to try and take a uh, um, an opportunity attack with disadvantage, you can. I see no reason not to. There's no downside to that, right? Nope. It'll use your reaction, but, you know, what else were you doing with it? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. 18? Nope. Plus, okay. plus the one plus the one from the oh, claw tattoo the is 19. Yep, that so. hits. So we'll give him another 8. Okay, so um, that last hit that hurt your hand, um, you, you hit like right on top of the bone of his kneecap, which did hurt. But it also... Let you realize exactly where that where that patella was and the next shot came up underneath and it shrieks and goes down um, and as it as it falls you stab it in the face with your dagger um, and just pull right up along its face um, and it falls on top of uh, Rhonda and uh, splashes you with gore. I quickly go down to Rhonda, who's paralyzed. I try to push it off, and while I'm trying to push it off Rhonda's body, I'll say, Rhonda, I think Zekiel likes you. <laughs> <laughs> so, is, is, so it is dead. Okay, all right. Yeah. It is dead. As, a, as the skull drawing guy, I have to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So if he's dead, do I get unparalyzed or does someone have to make me unparalyzed? Uh, you will continue to get uh, saving throws every round for the next minute. So you, okay. you'll, you'll be fine. You are pretty hurt, though. Yeah, oh. I'm pretty hurt. A lot hurt. I do believe it. I'll go over and tend to that a bit. I knew it. She, he's going to tend to me. Well, I mean, it's even better than being tied up. Go, go, go. <laughs> Um, yeah, now she's uh... just pretending she's paralyzed. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> oh, no. I can't move. Right, we'll demon in one's pockets. Inspect uh, the swords and stuff. Let's go ahead, and I do believe we'll cure those wounds. And I'll... I'll, I'll dip my finger in my, in my beer and put a little happy face on her forehead. And that is e. Oh, that's a shitty roll. Uh, eleven it... points of healing. Take your healing more These seriously. Are... <laughs> These are Zeke's moves. <laughs> Suddenly, He's Cass trying. is like, I don't know He's anything trying. about love. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All 
All right, so the um, but that doesn't unparalyze me, right? I just get the hit points back. I uh, no, but you are unparalyzed now. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. I'll take it. So after the East did and he healed me a little bit, I grab his beard and I pull him down and give him a kiss and then push it back off and get up. Okay, <laughs> uh, roll for kiss damage. <laughs> that was, that's most I was definitely. still raging. Your teeth <laughs> slapped together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Um, all right, let's go. Come on. Come on. That's enough clouding around. Let's get in there and see what's in there. Loot. Let's go. Uh, I, I, I would like a giant flaming sword, please. Yes. Uh, <laughs> should we gather any of this blood? Should we gather some blood? Devil blood? I mean, I've got vials. You're going to have to deal with it later as the DM when I pop out a vial of demon blood. Never mind, no demon blood. <laughs> I don't think we should let him have a sword if we don't know if he's evil. He's a warlock. Can he use a sword? Uh, if you can use a two-handed sword, uh, you can use one of these with disadvantage because the, the, the pommel is like this. Uh, with disadvantage. Uh, I can use... I think I'm... I think I can use all... What, what's the... Uh, there's. I have proficiency in all like standard weapons or something, I think. I can't remember what the term is. Oh, Evil weapon. weapons. Evil weapons. Yeah, um, there's simple weapons. Simple weapons, uh, which I it. think is is what you have, which is two handed. Think is not. Yeah, it's not okay. All right. Well, then I won't. Uh, I won't take a giant flaming well, sword. Well, I mean, if nothing else, if if we can carry these things, we can sell them to replace the horse and, you know, goods that we lost. Yeah, um, Dolly, you're that horse. Uh, that horse is still your... out there. I wonder if they're coming. I think the back. horse was eaten by the zombie thing. <laughs> yeah, it was eaten. Pretty sure not. Yeah, it's Anyways. you know in the zombies. Um, your uh, as your detect magic fades, uh, you can tell that these swords are only magical in the hands of those devils. Hmm. Okay. But there's quite a lot of of very good metal. I bet we could get a little something for it. Wait. No, I've got a better idea. Let's cut off their hands. I'll do Is it. Is that a quote we don't know about? That no, sounds reasonable. they're only magical in the hands of the devils. Let's cut off their hands and uh... <laughs> the sword. Make, then we can make devil gloves. We can then make we can, sc I mean, we we can scam whoever we sell them to by saying, look how yeah. magical they are. Yeah, just don't, exactly. you know, make sure you wear these devil gloves. Right. All you need is a bit of duct tape. It's fine. They do have too many fingers. They have a total of six fingers. But, you know, you can just, like, stuff one with paper or something. Yeah, we can make it work. Yeah. Can we check right. out really the their pinky. <laughs> yeah, it looks hey, like they the were baby cooking doing? in here. Is the baby yeah, still can screaming? We, can we yes, check the out the room? Yep. Yeah, Go in the room if you want. The baby is crying. Okay, so... Um, there are some tables in here. Um, there is a, uh, a fireplace. Um, there's a hallway leading north. Uh, let's see here. And what looks like a very nice steak on the cutting board. Yeah, that's what I'm looking are at. These, uh, are these kobolds? Are these kobolds? Yeah, who's on? Yes, who's, who's these uh, those are kobold bodies that um, have been chopped to bits. Oh. oh, so it's probably a kobold steak. I don't think I want any of that. And um, Bernadette, sad to say, you do recognize uh, Yip Yip and Bark Yip. Oh, I already love them. So, I am going to take a close look at their bodies to see what happened to them. Can I see exactly? They're just cut up. Yeah, um, you can't. You can't really tell for what purpose. They seem to like the like the legs are chopped off. Um, they've been they've been cut uh, in half uh, at the waist. 
Um, all of the parts are still there, though. There's some big cleavers. Um, yeah, it's it's hard to it's hard to know why. Um, this room is filled with uh, with blood and uh, and bodies and smells like death. Well, I'm gonna press to digitate not death smell around my face. <laughs> okay. Only your face. This does so I'm gonna uh, the smell of not death. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna tell the party this was my family. They're all dead. Oh, Bernadette. I'm so sorry, and I'm Bernadette. Going to say that I swear vengeance on whoever did this. I'm going to make their last moments the worst that could possibly ever be on this or any other plane of existence. I will say that the that the cleaver uh, that you see in here, as well as the furniture, is sized for um, about a ten foot tall person, possibly with an extra finger. All right. So the thing. Uh, well, Bernadette, I'm with you in vengeance. But before we go, what what's the proper burial? I think we should tend to them first. I I agree. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe the best way is to just burn them so their souls escape here. Yeah, kobolds aren't really big on funerary rites. Um, so, you know, typically, um, depending on the age and health of the kobold that died, they might even be eaten. Um, but if, if they were old or sick, then they would probably just be burned. Well, there's a fireplace and there's a really old ratty rug. I bet a great, great kindling. We can probably all place them. I bet Zadiel need... will say a prayer and we can just... But yeah, I don't need go... kindling. I can just fire breathe them. Before we go also too far true. in this direction, I see the wood. The, uh, the, the floor is made out of a bit of wood. What about the walls? Uh, the walls are stone. In that little hallway to the north, there's a door. And on the west wall... Um, there is also a door in the five foot section above the fireplace. Yep, I see it now. I will. It's funny how I don't see him and you point him out. I'm like, oh, duh, it's right there. So I don't I'll... think I want to find out who sold, who gave them to these idiots and who these idiots work for because that's the one I'm going to kill. I Can agree. I... Before we Can before I... we move on, I'd like to go to each of the to the kobolds and and close their eyes and 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 make a sign of the hop on each of their foreheads and there we are with the lag again because what you don't need is packets packets should be dropped it's the only thing to do with them and there we go completely lost it the stream. Yeah, we lost the stream. Oh, it appears there it the, uh, oh, the meeting back. is back. And, uh, and and go ahead and make that roll with advantage since you already know what you're listening to. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the stream uh, is arc. back. Yeah. 23. Okay. Um, yeah, you get little snatches of um actual words um free us um <laughs> it's dolly we're ruined um Wait, uh, go back one <laughs> oh no this I, i'm going to tell dolly i think this is your your vill i think these are your villagers they know you. The, the people inside the stone? Yeah, they just called you by people? name. Oh my god. The one screaming in the thing? They're begging to be freed. Did they say how to be freed? Do they... If I ask them, would they answer? I guess I could try. 
Can they hear? Uh, yeah, you can you can try asking, but they don't seem to be able to hear you. Okay. I'll I'll try anyway. I'll sort of I'll I'll speak really loudly and slowly at the stone as we discussed <laughs> is the manner of doing these things. Uh, how, do yeah, we, I, I, how do we free you? <laughs> they're frantic. Um you you get terror. Um okay. Definitely the impression that that whatever wherever they are, they're not happy. Well, it's really small in there. All right. Well, I'm inclined to try to break the stone. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it on the table. Ha! You just smash it on the floor. Or against, probably against the wall because the floor is wood. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it shatters and um, uh, kind of explodes a little bit, uh, not enough to do any damage. Um, and, and little motes of light go off in every direction. Like way, way too many um, uh, for your comfort. I mean, there's... And at a rough guess, between 150 and 200 motes of light go flying off um, and immediately vanish. How many people were in your village? This this can't be good. It's a, it was a pretty big trade town, so, you know, a couple thousand. Hmm. But given that it was mostly taken over by ghouls, ah, I wonder if those were the ghoul souls. Mm. Hopefully. Well, so let's finish here. We can go back to town and figure can it I out. Hear it, can I still hear anything, or is, is, has it all gone silent now? It has okay. gone silent. Okay, I'll, I'll report that to everyone that I can't hear them anymore. Huh. I'd like to pick the shards back up into my staff, though, and have them like the three biggest ones like circle and do cool shit because aesthetics. Okay. Because it looks cool. And that is a real reason. Aesthetics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, it appears to be just like some kind of uh, white quartz now. All right, we're going to head through this other door. Uh, I'm going to investigate this door by the fireplace. Okay. okay. Do you want to roll investigation or are you just going to fling the I'm door wide? Rolling investigation. Okay. Roll some investigation. 19. All right. Um, So you uh, detect no traps. You do, however, with a 19, detect a huge iron bar across the front of the door. On the other side? (laughs) Oh. On this side. Yeah, this side. Uh, uh, uh. (laughs) She's just pushing against it. (laughs) Guys, it won't open. You're like, um, Cass? So are right, we going right. through this door? That's my I'm going to tell you I'm going to yeah, need a long rest soon. I only have one more rage left. Where do you want to head to? Oh, God, so there's another door. we open the door, door and we see a hallway and another door. Very short hallway, another door. And uh, just cheating a little bit here, this block of blacked outness is quite large. Is that Jess's mic? I think so. Mine? Yeah, sorry. We've got like a scratching back and forth. We can hear your chair moving oh. or something. Okay. There it's you go. Kind of a, it was kind of yeah. ASMR. I, I, I was okay. <laughs> We're not supposed to be relaxed. We're supposed to be tense. No brain tingles. Right, so what are we no doing? No brain tingles right now. Maybe we should look at the other door. I was going to say, before we the go wooden one, or we want to go back? Because we're looking for, like, some great guy, right? Is he going to be hidden down a tunnel? Or is he going to be in, like, some grand place? But who knows? I see it, they usually, like, the, the most self-important people like a little hallway before you get to them to make you feel trapped That's and true. enclosed before you enter the grand chamber. You know, you are not wrong. That's where the well, safe point is. That's why I this love him. Dolly, Dolly's the leader. She should say where we're going. All right, Dolly. 
Uh, I'm going to use some sorcery points first to get some spell slots back while we're okay. sitting here with our thumbs up our beast. Oh, actually, I have a thing I can use once. Let me see. It's a short rest thing. Hold on. Oh, no, it's a short rest thing. Never mind. I can't do my, it for no reason. My it's thumb is rest. in my ear, just for the record. It's oh, not okay. a pipe. Short rest is what? Right. Half hour? Hour? What's a short rest? Short rest is an hour. Well, if we could take a short rest, because I can do a bonus action. It's 1d10 plus 2 hit points. Yeah, I, I mean... I don't think you need to worry too much about the hit points, but... Um, so, Kelly, that is... That's, that's one of your fighter abilities, right? That's, uh... I don't know. It's called Second Wind. I don't Second actually wind. know where it is. Yeah, you... that's a bonus action. You can do that anytime. Oh, well, it's not what it... Well, it says once per short rest, you can use a bonus action to regain. Right. So right. you can... Right. No, you can use it anytime. You can regain it once per oh, short sure. rest. Oh! Now, and then take short rest. Well, let me use it now, because uh, Ezekiel's like, save your magic. We might need it in the middle of the battle, right? You know what I mean? So let me use this... All right, so I'm going to check it off so I know I did it, and I could do a 1d10 plus 2. 1d10, d10, d10. Here it is. Roll to everyone, yes. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, that's pretty ten. good. 10. 10, Sorry, nice. Ten zero. And I was like, what? Oh, wait, that's 10. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Only I would roll a zero. Okay, 10 and 2, so that's 12. Nice, I'll take it. All right, I'm feeling a little better. Little color makes nice. again. I think a short rest is probably a good idea. Rest shortly, rest up. Well, then she can Does do that it again help the anyway. magic users? Does that help magic users if we take a short rest? Uh, I mean, it'll let anyone heal up a little bit. Yeah, you can spend hit dice. Okay, I'm okay with that. So just tell me what happens because I haven't done a short rest before. First of all, I can uncheck that then. Yes, you can uncheck that. Yay. Um, you did that. So. However many uh, levels you have, that's how many hit dice you have. Okay. And so for you, you would have, I think Seven. you have one level of fighter and... I have two level of fighter of... and five of barbarian. Okay. So you have two D10 and... Uh, five D8, right? D12. Oh. And we, we roll and all so of them? You can roll any amount of them you want. You pick first and then you roll them. And you also get to add your con bonus per die. Why wouldn't I just roll all of them? Because you might take uh, more short rests later. Right. Uh, if you had if you had ten hit dice and you were only down five points, you know you might roll one or two of them, and you know save the rest for for later. I'll just right, do my they, two fighters then. Then it'll be easy to remember. You have to okay. manually roll it though. It looks like. It doesn't and he all. said well, add consultation. Do... Now, why am I rolling good now? Now I just got 19. You can do the same with the with the icon down in the bottom left. That's and what I was just, doing. Yeah, and then you can do your... multiple at once, right? So yeah. it was nice and easy. Yeah. So, so I got 19, uh, and you said you add your constitution? Per die. So, so you're going to add your constitution bonus twice. 25. Okay, I'm looking right. really good now. Yep. I'm back up There's... to full. There's also, when you click the short rest button, it will ask you if you want to spend hit dice. Oh. There's, oh. Well, that Well, this that is better. It's better reading. to actually know what's happening, too. It's okay. <laughs> I am a writer, not a reader. So. <laughs> oh, you're, you're a book. writer. You should be both. Uh -huh. Very important to read. He read does. Don't books, let him people. Fool you. All right. All right. I'm good. Go down. We know we that there's uh, right, some so stuff rest behind time. that blue fire. We know there's another door near the blue fire, back in the other hallway. Yep. Up the stairs, right? So there's one in the blue fire, there's up the stairs, there's this little wooden one, and then there's the one with the short hallway. He's right about the short hallway. But if you're really, really wealthy and nice, do you want to walk through the blood chamber of the fiends before you get to your nice chamber? Or do you want that on purpose because you want people to be terrified before they see you? This might there's be also, another uh, there's a door here. Yeah, so I said that's the wooden the one. The door here. Yep. And, and here. That's short hallway door. Yeah. That's I fire think... door. And the other one I want to go through the door. wooden door at the top here first and see what there. This one. Okay. Do you want me to check it? Yeah. Well, I think All that right. would be best. I run over to check it. And by check it, I'm we mean take a listen. So excited. Check for traps, not to open it. 
Just to be clear. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, that screwed me up. <laughs> 16. Okay. That's athletics. Wait, wait. Yeah, I don't know why I rolled athletics. Hang on. <laughs> that was for me to get there. He's doing I like, a sweet did like backflip three, off the door. Three She's flips doing... while I went either over. Either perception or investigation. Investigation is a 14. 14. Okay. Um, does, you don't see any traps. It doesn't appear to be locked. However, it does appear to smell even worse on the other side of that door. Okay, guys, it doesn't smell good over there, but I think we can open it if we want to. Do you want me to open it? No. Say yes in three seconds. No. Three, two, yes. No. Okay. Damn it. Oh, no, I have conflicting instructions. Sally, you're the one in charge. This is uh, what happened to Hal, by the way. Yeah, Hal I'm got conflicting it. instructions. I'm and then just killed everyone. Down. So let's just no? take a peek, make sure that's what it is. All right. I'm going to peek then? Slightly open it? Can roll, I open it? peek. Does it open towards me or away from me? It opens... We'll say away from you. All right, then I'll just try to just peek it open to super, super quietly open it. It's very dark in there. What about my, like, dragon cider? I got, I don't have that. Okay. You don't have nothing. No. <laughs> well, if you tell us it's dark in there, I can say, okay, hold on, then, let me look. Then, then I'm going to sniff. Okay. Yeah. It, uh, it, it does indeed throw. smell <laughs> freaking horrible in there. Um, you even, even the, the house with the, where the ghouls, we're living had nothing on this. Okay. All right. I will slowly close the door. It stinks really bad in there. But you didn't hear anything Did moving. You hear anything? Yeah, I was no. gonna say. No. Yeah, you you saw a little bit of the the floor um, in front of in front of the door. Um, you saw some um, some. Some kind of gunk on the floor. You're not really sure what it was. I say that. Well, let's just leave that room alone then. Probably a body dump. Yeah. yeah. I don't feel like that's a very good room. I don't like it. If we take this place over, I don't want that to be my room. I think if... Oh, we're not living here. Uh, on our I said, way out... I said if. Uh, assuming, we, assuming we leave. I, th I think maybe... We throw a bit of fire in there and call it a day. Mm, stink up the whole place. Only on our way out. If we could set a time bomb, that'd be even better. All right. So we've got... <laughs> Just looking at the clock here. <laughs> I don't think we've got enough time to... I mean, we can open the door and... Well, I think what we do have to do is decide which door we're going to open. And that's where we'll start next week. I'm from I mean, the West. All right, says... I will. I will tell you. Just, just. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, you have time to open this door. You probably don't have time to open this. Door. <laughs> <laughs> don't read anything into that. Right. <laughs> I, missed, I missed the pings because I was looking at our faces. It yeah, was the have... short, the short door. He said we have time, time to for. open the body room door. Yes. we um, don't have time to open the other door out of. Well, this I meant room. we have two other doors up north too. So I was just gonna say, let's decide right now which door we want to open next time, and then we'll open it next time. I'd love. Oh to yeah, open... this is a hall that's going right. north. Yeah, I'd love yeah. to open this door before the end of the session, so we know what we're gonna get into in the next one. Okay. All right. You can do that if you want. Let's go. All, All, right. Right. All right. So Rhonda now at the uh, behest of Dolly um, takes the the metal rod that was blocking it and lifts it right up and tosses it to the side. Okay. And then uh, um, she just pushes it open because Kaz already looked at it. So she feels confident. Well, I don't know if she pushes or pulls, but she opens the door. Uh, so, yeah, Kaz looked at... Um, this door, that's, but nobody has looked at this door. Right. So I just opened that door. See the hallway? We're like, Kaz, can you come check this one out? Okay. By check out, tank, tank, tank. we mean. Don't open it. Look just check only. it out right now. Yeah. Look only, no open. 
Okay, so I try to examine it without touching it because they told me I could only look at it. Investigate it. Okay, give me just a second. Please. What is going to fall on her this time? Uh, Nothing falls on you. Um, The... uh... The hallway explodes. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, I'm looking at it? Uh, well, he yeah. walked into the hallway. Well, you well, told me to. First. You told me to. Yeah, and I walked into it first. Well, actually, from where you're standing, you're both going to take the damage. Um, I was there first. It is 21 points of fire damage, but you can roll uh, deck saves for half. Can, can I uncanny dodge after that? Um, you can uncanny dodge now and still roll for half. So All right. Take so a quarter if you... I'm going to do an uncanny dodge, and then I will roll my deck save and get a bleh, eight. Well, I have two two disadvantages for rage. I don't remember what we decided the second one was going to be. <laughs> minus two. So it's just minus two. All right. So I only I rolled a one. Okay. Uh, yeah, so um, Rhonda takes 21, and um, Kaz takes 10. Yep, I took it. Of what? Fire? Fire, fire. damage, yes. Okay. It is explosion yeah. of fire. And when when it happens, you uh, on either side of you, um, runes light up uh, just intensely brightly. They leave... Uh, 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 after images on your on your retinas, um, and and just flame comes billowing out of that hallway, um, and nobody else is standing close enough. Although uh, Teo does uh, get comfortably warmed up, Feel the so heat. I don't think this was supposed you, to happen. Are you guys okay? I think we should be checking more often. End scene. That's the end of the chapter right there. Fire explodes in the hallway, end of the chapter. Okay. Guys, I think we should have gone through the fire door up north. (laughs) Uh (laughs) Just hindsight, you know. (laughs) How many heels does uh, Ezekiel have left? A few. All right. Well, that's a good place to leave it. Yeah. Unless you want to go ahead and open that door. Great. It's better than being cold. I'll take it. All right. He's, DM is offering to let us open the door. Just uh, if you um, want to peek. After they just took twenty points of damage, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, there's a there's a big black space on the map on the other side of the store. So so I mean, are we gonna open go the door and go for it, or are we just gonna go back in the thing and take a long rest? I mean, this is a really gross place to take a long rest. I don't think it'd be very restful. On the other hand, it's a place that has a door that you can bar with an iron bar. True. There's a nut. There are two more iron bars on this door. And after the explosion, you hear something moving on the other side. Something very big and very heavy. Guys, there's another door on the other side. So something is locked in there. And just p- throwing this out there, uh, we s- at least have some reason to think that Basul maybe is being impersonated by Abraxas and therefore is incapacitated in some way. And it could be he him locked behind this door. Is there it, seems to is be it increased- Jin really, really big? I don't know. They usually fit in, in lamps, right? Empty. They can be very big. I mean, he's, he would be an earth gin, so if any gin is big and bulky, you would think it would be like an earth one, right? I thought and gin How big was is a Robin drink. Rains? Depends on the day. Hey, Isn't you know gin what? a drink? To, oh my yes. gosh. <sighs> gin is a drink as well. I'm wondering. Can't, <laughs> excuse me. That's a lot of better, place. I swear. So we could get um, a drink. That's all I'm saying. That seems like a lot of work. All right. Well, I say we open the door then. Let's just do it. Whoa, whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I don't think that's a very good idea. I think first I'd like to take a moment and give each of you a blessing after I'm... all of that fire. 
I mean, I, I don't mind, but like Teo, Teo's got a point, and something doesn't want us to get in here. Yes. Listen to the evil guy. Blessings first, and then we'll open the door. Who do you bless? Okay. Uh, I am going to cure, or I am going to cast cure wounds at second level twice, once on each of them, if I can do okay. that. Okay. Uh, sure I can. I will start with Rhonda. Uh, for 15 points. Nice! And Kaz. For 14 points. One. Nice. And two. That's more than I needed. Now I'm really and ready to open that door. I will it go explodes. ahead. And... Hopefully my constructed narrative is correct. I like it. I, I like your solution. power oh. twice to regain those... Uh, Spell slots. Thank you. Okay, so Kaz is in front and opening the door. Are yep. you Kaz? If not, I'm doing it. They told me to. They told well, me I told to. you to. Yep. Let's Let's go. Step back, Kaz. I'm flinging those iron bars aside. Okay. There is a gigantic creature with all kinds of heads. I mean, running towards the door. I don't want to be in front. What's the gym look like again? <laughs> this is not a drink. It can't fit through the door, right? Uh, you, well, its heads could certainly fill this corridor, but it couldn't, it probably couldn't squeeze its whole bulk through. Cool. Can we see if we're faxed enough to slam the door and put the things back up down? You sure can. Um, All right, let's roll. What dex? <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just keep, we'll just make that a dex check. But let, let me do it. Well, we can both try. We're both going to. I was definitely yeah, not you faster. You can both I, try. I had a nine. Twenty. No, seventeen. Sorry. It rolled a sixteen. So you I slam it right in its face. Yeah. Sweet. All right, here's the bars. Put the bars on. Put the bars on. This is the wrong door. This is the wrong, <laughs> wrong door. door. Wrong door. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're you're frantically getting the bars. It's pushing the door. You're shoving back. Uh, it's, everybody everybody else comes in and and starts pushing on you guys. Us. One of the one of the heads gets halfway through and is it is chomping and it 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 bites your shoulder and tears at your Ow. arm a little bit. And then you 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 elbow it and, and manage to push it back through. Slam the door, get one of the bars bars down, and then you, you can get the other one down. Um, what was all that right, tale? everyone out! What was that there? <laughs> I just, I just, just want to point out, that, and I probably should have pointed this out before, that as a writer out, out of character, I'm very good at leading false trails for readers and drawing them to the wrong conclusions. <laughs> He's evil. Why does no one else see this? He is evil. I didn't, but but I thought it made sense. Look look where look it where Teo is when all this is happening. He's like twenty feet away. Yeah, guys, open the door. You know, I just want you to know for the record, the only doubt I had is when you suggested that, Greg, and Petway was like, Yeah totally could be that like he was, he was like yeah sure yeah that could be it that's a good good solution that that should have been my clue sorry my bad uh i would like for both kaz and Rhonda to make medicine checks please no medicine, medicine, medicine. i didn't medicine, drink medicine. any of it <laughs> i'm rolling so bad Taylor today six did. wampus cat has a point um, so 14. Say? Yeah, 14. Uh, Wampus okay. Cat, that's an excellent point. And, um, Good enough. Um, yeah. yeah, so on the on the far sides of the room, um, there were piles of bones, and they were definitely humanoid bones, like um, uh, goblins, hobgoblins, kobolds, um, things like that. Um, you're, you, you definitely think that, and there's even you know, blood on the floor here. So you think that, uh, that probably, uh, the devils were what chopping up it? the bodies and feeding this creature, um, for whatever reason you don't know. Um, so we opened the door and all it heard was dinner time. Dinner. 
It started moving when it heard the explosion. But yeah. Uh, I must, uh, and, and I guess fire wouldn't hurt the demon thing, so it'd be fine. I, I gave I gave a rep point to um, Wampus Cat for figuring that out. Good job. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, we're awesome. So all we have left now is to vote on a title. What is it, oh, big titles? Right. Big titles. And while we're doing that, does anyone have anything to share? Petway, cough, Petway. In fact, today is the very last day ever that I will be able to say that book five is coming out. Oh, right, right. It's coming right. out tomorrow. Right here. Um, yeah. 8 p.m. Central. Uh, Heroes Kill Everyone uh, is the name of the book. And um, it is uh, the fifth and final book of the series. And um, I am over the moon about it. Um, and oh, and also uh, tomorrow night we're doing 20 questions. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. For the official launch. And we will also have uh, another announcement to make then. A um, secret announcement. A secret announcement, which is really good because I'm pretty sure that keeping the secret has been giving me an ulcer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anything I could do to help. Yes. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so uh, yeah. Um, the fifth book, Misplaced Mercenaries, Heroes Kill Every Everyone, uh, tomorrow morning. Um, everybody needs to go out and buy it immediately. And then, um, before you, before you read it, uh, give it five stars. Um, before you read and, it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, actually tomorrow also. And then for the next week after that, we have the first four books, the first four eBooks on sale for 99 cents. Yes. So if I'm you have not started it yet, that. you start after starting midnight Pacific time tonight. Um, you can get a good running away, um, Blow out the candle when you leave. You know, I tried to make him make that title shorter, and he just wouldn't. Uh, Big Damn Magic and uh, Illusions of Decency. So all four of them will be 99 cents for the next week. So get them all. Amazon links. What a Save steal! All. Right? <laughs> Save all. Do, you have, do you have links? Am I? I was hoping as I was talking, he was finding the links. Um, but yeah, grab them tomorrow. Um I mean, full price is four ninety nine, so you can get all four books for less of buying one when you get them tomorrow. So get them now. You get caught up, and then fifth one's tomorrow. Yeah, that's uh, I I I always get really excited when we uh, when we're when we're able to to lower the prices like that um, because you know I just want people to read them, and, mm -hmm. uh, and if, if anything we can do to make it easier. Uh, for folks to, to pick them up and read them is it makes me happy. Yep. Uh, so yeah, uh, it should be really really fun. And uh, I, God, this is it's a uh, it's a very big moment for me. Um, I'm I'm really excited. First completed to have... series. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty awesome. It's a big deal. It's pretty awesome. It's a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, yeah, and that's me. And Yay. great job tonight, also, Kevin. Oh, yeah. well, thank you. Yeah, yeah you can say it. that because I didn't sing. <laughs> no, we're saying that because we didn't die. And really, we were thinking TPK for a little while. So, yeah. all right. Um, anyone else have any announcements? Announcements. Nope, nope, nope. All right, excellent. Well, it. thank you, everyone, and we will oh. see you next Monday. Oh, well, wait, I mean, we'll wait, see you tomorrow. Wait, wait, wait. Just, what? Got it's something. just a little. It's just a little. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. For my first romance thing. What's happening we with your first romance? You. Uh, I missed it. Go ahead, say it again. Is it this? Is it better? No, well, you just got quiet. She, Sorry, we're Kelly loud. You're quiet. You. Yeah, I'll my bad. In, uh, sending arcs soon for my first romance novel. Do you have, like, a newsletter sign-up or somewhere where people can sign up to your newsletter so they can get an arc? Do have one of those. Astralscribe.com. No, not that one. That's not my romance pen oh, name. that's right. Don't that's the that. other one. Strike that from the record. No, I yes, stenographer. I did not say that. It didn't happen. It didn't get pasted in chat. It's not real. 
That's true. Totally fine. Um, this is my website that still needs to get fixed up. If anyone remembers the fix yo damn website from my list of things to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the very top, there's the get a free novella, which is kind of weird and baiting and leading. You will get a free novella, but you have to sign up for my newsletter to get it. And then you can sign up for the beta readers there. That's worthwhile. Well. It's definitely worthwhile. Yeah. Free stuff. Yep. Free stuff. Right. So emberholdwrites.com. Ember. Not Amber. Ember. Perfect. Ember. I love it. I love it. Normal romance. Ember, because okay, it's very it. steamy and smoldering. That's right. And we lost the uh, feed again. We lost we the feed again. I have the feed. I said, well, no, oh, okay. I have it. I have it. Then it, it just like, must be me. It says there was a network error. Looks yeah, like mine, uh, mine's still on. Friday is providing her email address exactly. already, but Friday maybe, maybe you want to. Yeah, Friday, if you go, it'll be a lot easier. It's hard for us to keep track. If you go to the emberholtwrites.com and then sign. And you know you can get the free novella, too. And I know you love that. She did. All right, we're good. Yay. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure. Oh, gosh. Flashing bright lights. We are already signed up. Yep. That one is probably not for Sophia. No. No. Oh, absolutely not. No, no spicy. 100%. No spicy. Uh, No, Friday, you're not actually on the mailing list. Not that I see. Maybe she just did it. I don't know. So try again. She doesn't have you on there. So. Oh, yeah, she just did it. So it probably just hasn't updated yeah. yet. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. That checks out. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, thank you, everyone. And we'll see you tomorrow for 20 questions. And next Monday as we conclude maybe this whole thing. Sorry, we always yeah, take longer I'll, I'll, than, I'll, I, than anyone I, Unless you done. guys just, like, bail, um, then you'll, you'll finish <laughs> it next time. We're just going to leave. Never like, mind. forget it. We've well, had well, enough. He, he, he'd said before the stream that we might finish tonight if we picked the right door, and we clearly did not clearly pick did. the right <laughs> door. <laughs> yeah. uh-uh. <laughs> just for the record, until he pointed not. out that door was there, none of us saw it. We would have gone right by it. Yes. That's true. That's another reason we should have been suspicious when he pointed it out. <laughs> yeah, we have an old saying at our at our D&D table which is the DM is not your friend. Uh, <laughs> See, I've been doing it wrong. I've totally been uh, No, doing I'm, it wrong. I'm looking forward to getting the DM who is our friend back. <laughs> <laughs> when, when it's my turn, you guys are going to be really sorry, but <laughs> Yeah. We might all want to make temporary characters. Dolly's yeah. next, though, so. Yes. Awesome. The the meme I love is the, just over the hill, you see a warehouse. And the players ask, a warehouse or a warehouse? W-E-R-E. <laughs> right. uh-huh. yeah. And the DM says, well, now that you yeah. mention it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. If you've read my books, maybe you don't want me as the DM, so. Oh, no, everyone gets a chance. Sorry. You're going to be up, too. Oh, well, then. Everyone gets to do a guest, man. It'll be fun. All these little in-between things. It'll be awesome. And it gives me a break. So it's completely self-interest right here. All right. Oh, of course. Awesome. All right. You are all wonderful. And we shall see you soon. What is this? The third or fourth goodbye? I can't remember. You know, it's a southern thing, right? You know, you got to do it over and over again. We've got like three or four more, right? I mean, at least we're, we we right. moved to the driveway now, but we're not in the car right. yet. Right. Yeah, right. We, yeah. we haven't done the third round of hugs yet. To... <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.